So uh, I just put in the most fun thing to do in California. And you want to take a guess at what it gave me? Was it surfing, hiking, maybe visiting Hollywood? Well, if you guessed jumping off the Golden Gate Bridge, then you were correct. So I think most of us living in the U.S. have some sort of state pride. We're always kind of excited to hear our state mentioned in the news. Well, do you feel like you're a stereotypical person from your state? Because today I'm going to have AI sum up every U.S. state summed up into one person. In alphabetical order, we'll start with Alabama. So, uh, I, I understand, like, the, the guy looks like he could be from Al Alabama, but... What's with the U.S. map behind him with random pictures in each state? I don't know what any of this has to do with anything. And here we have an Alaskan woman living up in the mountains, living around moose. Okay, Arizona is giving a much more old-fashioned look, I guess. Arkansas, we've got a black farmer lady. California was apparently too good for this prompt as it had to fit way too many things all into one picture. But I guess they wanted to include the palm trees, the beaches, the cities, the big tech companies, um, kind of all everything put in once. But it did not include the people jumping off the Golden Gate Bridge this time. Colorado is all about hot girls who want to drink beer, play guitar, and watch football. With Connecticut, we've got an old rich woman, pretty much the only type that can afford to live there. Delaware, we got another nice lady reading a book out by the river. Uh, Florida, we've got an old grumpy guy smoking a cigar, fishing, surrounded by alligators and flamingos. Um, I was just in Florida last month, so I could confirm this is accurate. Now with Georgia, we got a t-shirt that has almost all the words on it actually reading correctly. Peach State Proud. Uh, I've never heard that slogan before, but I hope it's accurate. I love that for Hawaii, we don't actually get a native Hawaiian. We just get the the tourist kind of Hawaiians. Okay, with Idaho, I don't know why his head's so big. He's got a huge head and huge feet, and he's got his gun protecting all of his potatoes. This might be the most accurate one we've seen so far. All right, Illinois is actually showing downtown Chicago. Uh, we got the pizza, the corn dog, the beer, and whatever that monstrosity is in his other hand. And if you think you have a definitive answer, you should probably probably look a little closer. Indiana looks like he's uh, taking no prisoners. I don't know what he plans to do with that corn cob. Uh, Iowa is all about the apple pie and the corn stalks. Okay, Kansas looks almost exactly the same as Iowa, except with a basket of vegetables instead of an apple pie. I've also noticed they like to put a lot of the sports teams on all the t-shirts. All right, Kentucky's all about the basketball, the liquor, and the horses. Put them all together and you have a brand new sport. <laughs> Whoa, this one went off the rails. So there's the state of Louisiana. There's some things going on. Uh, I don't know how Pepe made his way into this, but I guess Pepe the Frog holds its roots over in Louisiana. All right, here we have Maine. There's definitely a trend going on here where the person has to be holding two iconic things uh, representing the state. The uh, Maine being lobsters and blueberry pies. <laughs> okay, Maryland said, forget the lobsters. We got crabs here and uh, we hold them proud. Whoa, Massachusetts is trying to take uh, credit for everything. I don't think that the Statue of Liberty is in Massachusetts. That seems about as realistic as the flying fish over their Capitol building. Also, I would not trust a guy who carries two donuts and a lobster in one arm like that. Michigan, ah, we're back to the holding food items. Well, they do have the Great Lakes, then I guess a cup of coffee and some chips with the... Uh, uh, I don't know what's going on on that bag. That looks like a cat's face growing out of the chip. Minnesota. It's all about big beards, flannel shirts, and fishing. And uh, being able to catch a fish behind you without even looking. Well, Mississippi looks more like what I expected the Louisiana one to look like if that one didn't get taken over by Pepe fighting a politician. Missouri time. Man, I don't think we've seen a single guy that didn't have a big mustache in this video. All right, the state of Montana. This one looks normal at first until you notice that she's got... A glass of whiskey in one hand, and a glass of whiskey in another hand, and a rifle in another hand, and uh, also that rifle is attached to another thing which is also in the holster. But hey, if this doesn't shout Montana, I don't know what does. Here in Nebraska, we build our uh, football fields right up to the edge of the cornfields. That way you can very easily bring your Runza and your coup aid to the game, and you never have to even leave the cornfield. Okay, now for Nevada, it looks like we got Margot Robbie with an acoustic guitar. <laughs> Maybe this is just one of her Barbie outfits. New Hampshire has a guy that somehow caught a lobster with a fishing pole. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely not an expert on fishing, but I don't think that lobsters are very susceptible to the bait. Uh, New Jersey... <laughs> I don't really know what to say about New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's just move on. Wow, New Mexico. I've never seen this part of the country this colorful. Uh, if you've ever been around there, it's mostly just dead brown everything. Well, with New York, what else could you ask for? You got pizza, you got beer, you got pigeons. But mostly pigeons. Okay, North Carolina, we're out on an airstrip and uh, with a full tray of biscuits and barbecue. North Dakota, we got more farmland. 
I think a lot of people don't realize just how much of the U.S., like how many states are just very farm oriented. Now Ohio is apparently against the world. I'm also not entirely sure what that map of the U.S. on that mug is supposed to mean, but uh, I hope it's not uh, predicting anything. Uh, Oklahoma looks like it's got a little bit mixed up with Utah or Nevada. Uh, yeah, that's probably a little bit more like it. Uh, the oil wells fit a little bit more than uh, the red mountains. Wow, Oregon's looking like a nice place. I guess if you were able to escape Portland, there are nice places there. Pennsylvania gave us a full diagram, so uh, you gotta have your bottle of beer and your glass of beer. You gotta have your book on snakes and uh, your wine glass that's just made out of a pretzel. <laughs> okay, so Rhode Island, apparently they just eat full-on lobsters in their sandwiches. You know, a good lobster sandwich with a glass of milk, that, it doesn't get better than that. And then South Carolina is all about the sweet tea. South Dakota, they, they definitely always have to remind you that they have Mount Rushmore. And uh, I actually forgot that they had Mount Rushmore until I saw the picture. <laughs> Tennessee, we've got Elvis, country music, and Jack Daniels. Texas looks like they're still living in the 1800s, which is exactly what I always thought Texas still looked like throughout my entire childhood. All right, my home state is next. Please be a good one. All right, Utah. Uh, we've got the big red rock mountains to be expected a big jar of honey since it's with the beehive state and i'm not really sure what's on that plate but whatever it is i'm i don't think i've tried it before next is vermont with all the red trees the flannel again with the big beards and mustaches and then walden i don't know exactly what that's referring to but i'm sure people in vermont do all right now we have virginia Man, like 90% of the time, the prompts just know exactly what to give me, and then sometimes it just goes off the rails. So, uh, Virginia, you get to be an orange person. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of characters going on all over this place, but this is Virginia summed up into one person. But I mean, it's not much better than another picture that came up with it. Like, what is this graph even trying to show here? So with the state of Washington, this girl looks like she's on her way to class, except she took a wrong turn and now she's uh, lost in the middle of the woods with a moose. Well, West Virginia, we got our first unsafe image content detected. Uh, okay, uh, we'll, we'll try it again. Ah, yes, another guy with a beer can and a fishing pole, just like so many others before it. All right, next is Wisconsin, where she's uh, quite literally just eating a block of cheese for lunch. Um, I guess <laughs> that makes for a good meal over there, next to this uh, giant corn dog looking thing. And finally, we finish off with the Wyoming Ranger. But you know, just to finish up, let's just finish off with the United States summed up in one person. Oh uh, wow, this is uh, one of the most interesting ones we've seen so far. They actually did sum up all of the images into one face. But that's every state summed up into one person. I would ask if any of you guys look like the people that we saw, but it seems like most of the pictures in this were much older than uh, my normal demographic, so uh, maybe it looks like your parents. But that's all, I'll see you next time.